What's good guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you all another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video and in today's video we are going to be breaking down the new heavyweights promo, checking out the solo challenges, the missions, the packs and how much they're going for on the auction house and their stats. If you're excited for the video do me a favor hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new for more Madden 22 Ultimate Team content but without further ado I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back on Madden 22 Ultimate Team, and today we have a new Wild Card Wednesday promo, the new Heavyweights promo. So in this video, I will be breaking it down, showing you all the solo challenges, showing you all the missions, the new packs. If it's like it was last Wednesday with the Flashback Wild Card Wednesday, there will be no sets for this program or this promo, but we'll have to check in a second. But the first thing we're going to start off with is the solo challenges. So once we head over to the solo challenges, you guys are now going to see the heavyweight section there is no more flashback section so if you didn't do the flashback solo challenges last week those will be gone and you will no longer be able to do them however now we have five new heavyweight challenges one for Montez Sweat one for Jack Conklin one for Roger Saffold one for Quentin Spain and one for Brandon Williams and these should not be too long these solo challenges should not take you long at all for the Montez Sweat one all you're gonna have to do is not allow a touchdown this draw and not more than five complete passes so if you get them three and out that is a completed challenge and you're done it's going to be on all pro on arcade mode and there are 77 overall team for being that you will get 200 coins and then once you beat all five of these as we'll see for jack conklin here you have to take the lead with a passing td that could be a one play touchdown all pro it's not going to be that difficult these challenges should honestly take you maybe five minutes in total like one minute each and then the menu time will probably take you guys a little bit longer as well also by completing all five of those solos challenges you will get one power up item of any of those five heavyweight cards that you want kind of like last week how they did it where you got a free flashback power up so definitely make sure to do those solo challenges but really what you want to do here when you complete the solo challenges is now look at your milestones because once you beat all the challenges for this week you should have 10 stars if you beat the flashback solo challenges and now the heavyweight solo challenges as well that means you're 10 away from tier 4 here now at tier 4 when you get 20 stars which would be in two Two more Wednesdays from now, if you do the solo challenges every single week, you will get yourself a wild card Wednesday fantasy pack. And at this moment, we still don't know what's going to be in that wild card Wednesday fantasy pack. We all imagine it's going to be at least one player from every single program. So the flashback, the heavyweights, and the two other programs that they're going to drop in the next two weeks that you'll be able to choose at least one player from that was part of one of these programs. Maybe they'll give us every single player and you could choose one of them. We really don't know the exact details on this pack, but I'm assuming they're going to have at least one player from every single program and you could pick your favorite so you're going to get basically a free 88 89 overall and then if next week they make a 90 or two weeks after this they make a 90 overall and you could pick whichever one you want you also get a thousand coins for 10 stars and 15 stars as well and then every 20 stars so if you keep doing this every single wednesday by the time you get to 40 stars you'll get yourself another fantasy pack so definitely worth doing these solo challenges every single week but let's check out the mission now when we head over to the missions these really are not much what it's going to show you in the missions is basically exactly what I just told you. When you complete all five of the solo challenges for the heavyweights, you will get that power-up item as you'll see here. You get a choice of one of any power version of the players that were released this week. In this case, it would be the heavyweights. And they also show you the only way to acquire 89 Montez Sweat is by the auction house or by getting in one of the packs that we'll talk about in a second. But the missions for the flashbacks, the heavyweights, and the rest of the Wild Card Wednesday cards are not very advanced. They're very simple. They're just like the solo challenges challenges just beat the solo challenges or buy these guys on the market or get them in packs that's all there is it to these missions but let's get into the pack now the next thing we're going to talk about is the packs now if you head over to the training tab in the packs categories you guys are going to see an 88 plus overall heavyweights player for 2700 training now is that worth it for 2700 training where training is still pretty expensive early on in the year for one of these 88 plus overall heavyweights player i would probably say no unless you get that montez sweat because he's definitely the best 
card in the promo this week, and he has an 89 overall. So if you get the Montez Sweat, I'd say it's probably a W, but other than that, I would say it's probably not worth it for the 2700 training. I would just save up your coins, go invest, or go buy them on the marketplace if you really want some of these heavyweight players, because it's going to take a decent amount of coins to get 2700 training. If you have the 2700 training already, and you want to take a shot, you like opening packs, go for it, because if you pull the Montez Sweat, that's going to be a nice, nice reward, but there's a 1 in 5 chance that you're actually going to get him. So I would recommend staying away for the packs, but let's check out the auction house, see what these cards are going for, and check out their stats. These cards are going for a bit on the marketplace right now. I mean, they've only been out for about 10 minutes, but they are going for 159000 That is the cheapest card on the market right now, the Quintin Spain. I would imagine, though, over the course of the day, as more people open that pack, these cards will go down in price, but the Montez Sweat is going for a good amount on the store right now. 217k is the cheapest Montez Sweat, but let's take a look at all of the stats for these cards. We'll start off with the Quentin Spain. So Spain has 88 strength, 84 awareness, 89 pass blocking, 87 power, 84 finesse, and then his run blocking stats, 88 blocking, 86 power, 86 run block finesse. That is a really, really good card early in the game. Up next, we have the Jack Conklin, and honestly, I think the Quentin Spain is better than this card, so if you're going to get one of those two, I would go with the Spain because this card is 84 strength, 87 awareness, 88 pass blocking, 86 pass block power, 85 pass block finesse, then the run block stats are pretty good. So I guess if you're somebody who likes to run the ball, go with Conklin. If you like to throw the ball, go with Spain. 90 run blocking, 89 run block power, and then 90 run block finesse. Next, we have a D tackle in the 88 overall Brandon Williams with 78 excel, 90 strength, 87 tackling, 88 block shedding, 76 power moves, and 55 finesse moves. I don't really use too many defensive tackles, but if you're somebody that does this card's good. Up next is the 88 overall Roger Sathful, the 87 strength, 87 awareness, 88 pass blocking, 84 pass block power, 86 pass block finesse with 91 run blocking, 88 run block power, and 90 run block finesse. And the last card we're going to take a look at here is the best card in this program for this week. Without a doubt in my mind, it is the 89 overall Montez Sweat. He has the highest overall in the heavyweights program, and he has 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 81 strength, 85 block shedding, 76 power moves, and 89 finesse moves. This Montez Sweat has great speed, great block shedding, great finesse moves. He's going to be a beast for you. Definitely the best car in the program. I definitely recommend go picking him up once his price drops a little bit. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. Another wild card Wednesday in the books. We had the flashback promo last week. Now the heavyweights promo this week. Which promo do you think is coming next week? In the comments down below, let me know. If you found this video useful, though, and you enjoyed it, do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you are new i would greatly appreciate it if you would like to you can also follow my social links which are on the screen if you are right now including my twitter tiktok instagram twitch stuff like that but that's it for me today everyone i'll see you in the next video have a great rest of your day peace out